Hello friends, my name is Jayant. I study in grade 5. Welcome to my YouTube channel Maths with Jayant. I post math videos and through my videos I share the concepts with you. Today we are going to talk about multiplication. So let us get started with today's topic. That was grade 4. Grade 4 had 4 sections 4a, 4b, 4c, and 4d. These were the 4 sections. Now, in each section, there were 3 students. In 4a, there were 3 students. In 4b, there were 3 students. In 4c, there were 3 students. And in 4d, also, there were 3 students. Now, we are asked. Uh, what is the total number of children who are studying grade 4? How will we find it? What will we do? First, we will do 3 plus 3. So, that we will get 4a plus 4b. Now, like that, we will add 4c also. Then, we will add 4d also. You can see over here, we are adding 3 4 times. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 3, 12. Now, like this, if we have 10 3s, 15 3s, it would become too hard for us. So, we will do something else. So, over here, you can see that there are four threes, four groups, four classrooms. So, we will write four over here. The first number, the number of groups. The second number, we will write three. Three is the number of items. Over here, the number of people in each classroom. Or it can be number of items in each group. So, like this, four multiplied by 3 is going to be same as 12. So, rather than writing 3 repeatedly, we could just write it as 4 into 3 is equal to 12. Now, let us know the terms that are used in multiplication. So, the first number is the number of groups. And this number that we are going to multiply is called the multiplicand. M-U-L-T-I-P-L-I-C-A-N-D. The next number that is 3 is the number of items in each group. The items in each group is called the multiplier. So, multiplier is the number that is like we are multiplying it with that number. So, we are multiplying 3 4 times and the answer that we get is called the product P-R-O-D-U-C-T. We already know the basic multiplication tables. But now, if someone asks you 8432 into 6, how will you solve this? Are we going to log the multiplication table of 8432 now? No. So now let us learn how do we do the multiplication of large numbers like these. So first step is to write them in columns 8432. Put the end to sign over here and then 6 below the unit digit. After this, we have to multiply step by step. So first, we multiply 6 times 2. 6 into 2 gives us 12. 2 comes down, 1 carry forward. So don't write 12 directly over here. Only one digit and the other digit goes carry forward. Now 6 into 3. Now after this we will multiply this with the tens digit. 6 into 3 18. 18. We can't write 18 directly over here. Because there is a carry over 1 also. So always know that we multiply these two and we always add the carry over. 
Yes, we add the carryover. So, 6 plus into 3, 18. Plus 1 is 19. 9 comes down and 1 carry forward. 6 into 4 is 24. Add this carryover. So, 24 plus 1 is 25. 5 comes down and write the 2 on top. 6 into 8 is 48. 48 plus 2 is 50. Now, there is no other number, so we can write the 5 also over here. So, we okay, found out that 8432 into 6 is 50,592. Now, let us solve the second question where the multiplier is 2 digits. So, 2437 into 68. How do we solve this? First step is the same. Write the numbers like this in columns. Now, write the 6 over here and 8 over here. So, this was how first step is to write them in columns. Now, 68 is the same as 60 plus 8. So, first we are going to multiply by 8, then we will multiply by 60, then we will add them. You don't need to write this. So, first we multiply by 8. 8 into 7 is 56. So, the 6 comes down and the 5 is carry forward. And 8 into 3 is 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. So, write the 9 down and 2 carry forward. 8 into 4, 32. Plus 2, 34. 4 comes now, 3 carry forward. 8 into 2, 16. Plus 3, 19. This is not a final answer. This is just 2437 to 8. Now, we have to multiply this by 60 and then add them up. So, whenever we have to multiply with the number that has a 0, we will first just multiply with the 6 over here. If you have to multiply by 60, we will just multiply by 6 and then we will write the 0 at the last. That's what we will do over here. We will just write the 0 at the last and then multiply by 6. 6 sevens are 42. 2 comes down, 4 goes carry forward. 6 into 3, 18. Now, we should not add these carryovers. Because this was for the number 8. So, 6 into 3, 18 plus 4, 22. You can use different colors for different numbers. 6 into 4, 24. 24 plus 2, 26. 6 comes down. 2 is carry forward. Then 6 into 2, 12 plus 2, 14. Now we have to add them. So like this we get to know that 6 plus 0, 6. 9 plus 2, 11. 1 carry 4. 1 plus 4, 5. Plus 2, 7. 9 plus 6, 15. 5 down. 1 carry 4. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 4, 6. And then 1. So... 2437 plus 68 is equal to 1,65,716. You can put the commas also. Now let us solve a question which has a three digit multiplier. So our question is 3456 multiplied by 789. So, our first step is to write them in columns. So, now we've got to multiply first with 9, then with 80, then with 700. Because we can expand the number like that. So, first we multiply by 9. 9 into 6 is 54. 4 written down, 5 comes up. Then 9 into 5 is 45 plus 5 is 50. 0 is written down. The 5 is carry forward. 
9 into 4 is 36 plus 5 is 41. 1 comes down and then the 4 comes forward. 9 into 3 is 27 plus 4 is 31. The answer is not done yet. Now we have to multiply with 18. So first you will put a 0. You can also put a cross for this 0 if you want. 8 into 6 is 48. So the 8 is written down and the 4 is carried forward. 8 into 5 is 40 plus 4 is 44. 4 written down and then the 4 carried forward. 8 into 4 32 plus 4 36. 6 comes down, 3 carry forward. 8 into 3, 24 plus 3, 27. Now we have to multiply with 700. So for multiplying with 700, we put 2 zeros. Then we can multiply with 7. 7, 6 are 42. 2 comes down, 4 carry forward. 7, 5 are 35 plus 4 is 39. So the 9 is written down and the 3 is carried forward. 7 into 4 is 28 plus 3 is 31. So 1 comes down, 3 is carried forward. 7 into 3 is 21 plus 3 is 24. So now we've got this is into 7 into 80 into 700. Now we have to add them to get the final answer. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 8, 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 6, 7 plus 9 is 16. 6 comes down, 1 carry forward. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 7, 11 plus 1, 12. 2 comes down, 1 carry forward. So 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4 is 7. And the 2. So we get our answer as 27 lakhs 26,784. Hope you understood what is multiplication, terms used in multiplication and how to do the multiplication of large numbers. Thank you.